back to Brick Math with Dr. D. Today we're going to play a game, and this game's not in any of the books yet, so this is a brand new activity that um, you can play with someone else, or you can just play by yourself to practice. I'm going to play with my friend Bunny here. So Bunny's going to be green, and Dr. D's going to be on the gray board, and we're going to build a model, but first you're going to need some bricks. And specifically, you're going to need some 1 by 12 bricks. You'll need two of those. And you're going to place it on the base plate so that you place a 1 by 10 in a right angle with the 1 by 12. And you just put the 1 by 12 on the other side, fill it in. And now you have a 100 grid. So this is great for decimals as well. But today we're going to play a game. The game is called the Game of Arrays. Now, if you're familiar with Joe Bowler's Almost 100 game, this is very similar to that, but we're playing with Lego bricks. You're going to need a set of dice. So I um, created just one die here with larger numbers, but you can play with a regular set of dice from any board game that you have. What we're going to do, the object of the game is once we roll, we're going to build arrays, and Bunny's going to roll, and I'm going to roll. We're going to play against each other. And the first person to um, fill their array, and the game will be over, and then we'll get a score. So here's what we're going to do. As an example, I'm going to roll first, and I have the number six. So I have to find bricks that would give me six studs, all the same color. So then I would place my one by six inside of my grid. Make sure my grid stays tight, like that. And then on my paper, I would shade in my grid. So here's my grid. You can shade it or you can make Lego bricks out of it. And I'm going to write down here, my first move is two, sets of three is six. Two sets of three is six. Remember commutative property. Three sets of two is also six. Now let's talk about which this is. This technically is up and over three sets of two. So we're looking at this model right here. So right now I have six points, okay? So that's how it's gonna work. You could also, uh, we've just introduced something brand new for Brick Math, it's the base plate paper. So when you order, you can get some base plate paper if you'd like with your order. All right, so let's get started. So Dr. D has six points. Let's see about Bunny. Bunny has 12 points. So Bunny can do a lot of different things. Bunny can take a one by 12 and put it, it's enough, Bunny can't put a one by 12 inside because you know why? Think about it for a moment. There's only 10 down, 10 across. So you have to figure out how to make 12 without doing that. So let's see. We could use two 1x6s, and I'm going to make Bunny's two 1x6s yellow. And you can put those anywhere you'd like in the grid. So as I'm doing here, I'm going to put them right in the middle to show you a point. So now Bunny has, Bunny has 12 points. Dr. D has six points. So Bunny's 12 points, Dr. D's six points. All right, let's roll again. This is my roll. Get my dice to cooperate. I have nine. So now I can build nine lots of ways. So let's think of all the ways to make nine. So I could use three one by threes. I think I'll do that. I could also use a two by three and a one by three if I have the same colors. So I'm gonna place my one by threes in there, like that. Then I'm gonna come over to my game board, and I'm only drawing my game board, so I'm gonna come over to my game board, and I'm gonna use a brown marker since I don't have white. Put that right back on the board there. Okay, so I have three one by threes. And I have them directly next to this, going this way. Here are my three blocks. And if 
I write my array, my array is three sets of three, which is nine. So now I have six points and nine points, so I have 15 points. Let's roll for Bunny. Struggling to get this to stay today. All right, let's roll for Bunny. Bunny has nine as well. All right, let's build nine a different way. do you think there are to build nine? So think about how many ways you could build nine with the same color, but you could use different bricks to build nine. So I'm gonna give you a few minutes, think about the ways to build nine. So how did you build nine? Here are four options. There are lots and lots more, because you could start with nine times eight times seven times six and multiply all those numbers all the way down to one and get all the ways to make nine using probability theory. But here I have used uh, two, one, uh, one, two by three, and one, one by three. I have used three one by threes. I have used nine one by ones. And here I've used a one by three and not, uh, six one by ones. So there's lots of ways to do it. You just have to make sure they're the same color. So go ahead and place your nine in your board and let your partner uh, go ahead and roll for the next play. So as you continue to play with your partner, let's review some rules of the game. First of all, the object is to be the person to get the closest to 100. In other words, to fill in your grid completely um, as best you can. But you may not move any of the bricks you've already placed. So that might leave some spaces open. So when Bunny and I played our game, for example, here's Bunny and here's Dr. Disley. So Bunny has one open space in her game board and Dr. D has two open spaces in her game board. So to figure out who wins, I take the number 100, which is how many studs were available inside the grid, and I subtract the number that are filled in or you could subtract the number left. So in this case, I'm gonna subtract the number left. So 100, take away one, means that Bunny got a score of 99. If I look at Dr. D's, 100, take away one, two, three, four, five, six, means that Dr. D got 94. So unfortunately, my friend Bunny here beat me in this game. So play this game with some friends. This game actually helps you work on multiplication facts through array modeling. It helps you work on one-to-one -one correspondence through counting the studs. And it's actually very fun. If you've ever played Joe Bowler's game, How Close Can You Get to 100? This is very similar to that, using a model to go along with the drawing. And don't forget to draw your model along the way as Dr. D did hers and write all of your multiplication facts as you go and add along the way. I hope you enjoy this game in this edition of Brick Math with Dr. D. Have a great day.